Welcome to another edition of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be bringing you the Prometheus Sailfish. And this is a really nice watch. And we're going to go over all the details of it and tell you how much I like it. But before that, we'll do a wristwatch check. It's my Cobra Yellow Brightling uh, Chronomat 44 Limited Edition. And I'll be doing a full review on this really soon. Okay, first of all, let's do some measurements on this. The calipers out. Okay, now this is going to be 43 mil case. Fourteen point four millimeters thick, and the lug to lug on the wingspan is going to be fifty one point three. But if you can see, this link juts out right here, so that would be fifty eight. 58.9 so looking at that the overall watch it's a pretty big watch even though the case looks thin it has a bezel that's just as thick and let's open it up the first thing you want to do is take a look at the bracelet it has a lovely mill clasp and it has some engine turning on there that's a really nice touch we have a built-in dive extension ratcheting then you have a push button class all stainless steel you have um, all screws for sizing and you also have solid end links but you also have screws on the ends so that's really nice and it's really a um, uh, heavy duty build and let's move in a little bit on the dial. Now this watch is patterned um, after a Blanc Pong 50 Fathoms. That's why you get this raised domed sapphire bezel, which is a unique feature of the uh, 50, uh, 50 Fathoms watch, which some people say predated the Submariner as the first uh, real dive watch. Um, by a couple months. Now on this watch you have a signed crown with the uh, Prometheus logo. And on the back you have a you have the fish, the sailfish. See that? I'm trying to get a good shot of the sailfish. You have a sailfish on the back. Now on the back of it, you also have um, some writing NH35, which is the uh, movement. And that's a TMI or Seiko movement. And you also have a screw down back. And you also have a sapphire bezel and crystal. And I'll test that with my sapphire tester. That bezel is sapphire, so you don't have to worry about scratching that, even though it uh, puffs up. And sunken in is the crystal, and that's also uh, uh, sapphire. Now this watch beats along at uh, 21,000 vibrations an hour. It's a Seiko movement. It's running about uh, five or six seconds fast a day. Seiko uh, or TMI movements, whatever you want to call them, always run pretty good. That's why so many, uh, so many um, people use them. Now this crystal also has an anti-reflective coating, and then it has the Prometheus logo, 
and the indices all in a, a yellow green printing. Now you have a really lovely set of uh, cathedral hands and I like the cathedral hands now in this application it's really unique you have a red tipped second hand with the loom uh, uh, pip on the end and it's just different and unique now you have a white date wheel um, surrounded by a chrome date box I've wear at three o'clock pretty much standard for a uh, uh, most watches you have a date wheel you know pretty useful I do like no date watches also now the rehaul on here is just going to be straight uh, steel stainless steel and then right under the rehaul uh, out on the outer edge of the dial you have a railroad track seconds hand and that's really uh, nice now you have all printing in super luminova and I'll give you a loom shot in a second. Then I, right over six o'clock, you have automatic and a water resistance, which is 300 meters or 1,000 feet. So it's a really good, sturdy dive watch. Now, the finishing on here is all brushed. You don't have any polished surfaces, and I like that on the tool watch. I like that on the tool watch. You don't really need any polishing on a serious tool watch, and by having this brushing on here you really have to think about it you're not polishing it you're not polishing the bracelet or anything so you're really basically keeping the cost down of the watch so you gotta think about that but I really like it now the bezel is a hundred and twenty click bezel little bit of back play on there but not too much but it it, it feels okay it's not the best really loud click and it does have a slight amount of back play but you know that's okay for a watch in the sub $500 range I bought this watch used it is out of production and it's very hard to find and that's why I bought it because I was looking for this particular model this sailfish because I like the sapphire capped um, bezel and that's what I was looking for so you have really excellent knurling on the uh, crown, excellent knurling, excellent grip. You don't have any crown protectors. I don't really think you really need crown protectors. I, you know, I mean your wrist is right there. So if you share the crown off, your hand's probably going to be missing. That's how I look at it. So I'm not really a person into those crown protectors all like that. Now this watch. Um, doesn't have a flip out extension or nothing like I said before it has a signed mill uh, clasp with the Prometheus logo and you have the ratcheting uh, dive extension which is lovely uh, in case your wrist swells up you can just pull it out and you have about a, a link and a half extension you know plus that lovely engine engine turning on that clasp it's a really nice watch Get a lot of compliments on this watch and it keeps really good time to be uh, perfectly honest with you now on this watch the Prometheus it's it's hard to get these watches if you go on their website right now I can almost guarantee you everything that they sell needs to be pre-ordered that means you have to buy the watch or a certain percentage of the watch then pay for the rest when your order is ready or just pay for the whole watch now a lot of micro brands do this but it seems to be working for them unfortunately for everybody else they don't have things just sitting around they're all pre-sold so you basically have to buy these um, either secondhand market or go ahead and pay for it before you get it and you might have to wait some time before you get it unfortunately but it is what it is now I'll charge this up my black light so you can get, uh, do a loom shot this is all super luma nova c3 and the numbers hands um, and indices uh, right next to the numbers are lit up on the railroad track as well as the uh, sapphire cap bezel I'll cut the studio lights 
and that's your Prometheus and you can look at it next to my Breitling the Prometheus really nice C3 Luminova it glows all night you're gonna have a little bit less of a glow on the bezel because of the sapphire cap those that's uh, really sunken in there but it still lasts all night also so it's a really nice watch this is a really great brand I'm looking forward to doing some more uh, videos on this brand again because I like it and I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this watch and I want you guys to let me know tell me what you think it's the Prometheus and sometimes I do like when these micro bands use the Seiko uh, movement keeping the cost down under 500 because if this watch was about a thousand bucks I probably wouldn't have picked it up I picked it up used for 350 so my name is Big E that's the once over of the Prometheus Sailfish so let me know what you think about it leave a comment God bless you and I'll talk to you guys on the next one have a great day